M0FXB, welcome to my channel, GD88, or mine is the Kydera 880, the new firmware from Radiology, thanks very much. This is for the GD88 model, but it does work on my Kydera. Love these devices, they're dual band, dual digital receive, dual analog, are they just packed with functions and under 200 pound in the UK. So today, to update the firmware, we've gone to Radiology, we've clicked download here, 2023, uh, September the 12th, here is a list of the bugs that have been at, re repaired. RX only now working as expected. Improved roaming, option naming within talk alias, fix the bug, no receive, group, active promiscuous mode again, no freeze or stuck in scanning mode, fix the issue that the volume was too low. Radiology are really good. They do respond to messages uh, you know, of problems with the radio. If you look at the previous firmware, which was only you know, a few months ago, look at all that. Yeah, uh, it's a fantastic radio in my mind. Um, in a way, well, it is superior to the 878 that it's dual, dual received, two VFOs, but the firmware process is a bit harder, but because you have to update the firmware on for the A band and the B band. Anyway, I'm going to use the Coplug editor by MM7DBT. I find this very easy to use. Here is what the actual Coplug looks like, but it does have built in facility for firmware. The first thing you do is connect the cable to your PC, twin pin cable, which you can buy easily on Amazon. Go to device manager, have a look at your port, which is COM8 on mine. So what I've done, I've read from the radio, you just go read from radio, select COM8, which you've got, just to make sure that it's reading and writing, okay? Turning the radio on will always help. So I'll just turn it back on. Lovely screen on these. And I click OK. Read. And you'll, you'll see that it reads. Even though we've got signals coming in there, it's still reading no problem. And look at the top of this, this CPS code plug editor. Thanks to David, MM7DBT. Radio settings. You've got your settings and your buttons, ETC, menu settings, other settings, DMR, APRS, it's all here, your different buttons. Look, when you click different things, it's just, I just like it, you know, select your buttons, contacts, zone groups, scan lists, zones and channels. You get the idea. So now to get into firmware mode, you need to turn it off and hold down the top button, the button above the PTT, it's a small button, and turn it on. And you're in firmware mode for the A band. Remember, we have to do the firmware two times and you do have to switch it to the B band. We've downloaded the firmware file, which is just by clicking this section here. Click download. Go to the firmware setting, we'll go to tools, down to update firmware, of course it's at your risk. I know where the firmware is because I put it somewhere. Select firmware file. Now I put it in a file called GD88, which is here. Now hover your mouse over the top, okay? And you'll see that one of them says A bin, okay? And that's really important, just look closely there. You hover over the, the other file, it says B bin. We're doing the A bin at the moment. So the screen's got a light blue color at the moment. So we're gonna double click A bin and look. And now it says select firmware for the B bin, which is the one above. Again, you hover and it will show you that, hopefully. There it is there. Took a while, there, B bin. Okay, and now we're going to hit update firmware. Click OK. Your radio must be connected while in DFU mode. We're in DFU mode. To enter DFU mode, press hold P2 and then turn the radio on. The radio will show IAP screen with a red indicator LED. IAP A must be displayed at the top of the screen. And then you hold the button to switch to IAP B. Yeah, you hold the button above the PTT. Press OK when you're ready. So we're going to go OK. 
and hopefully this is going to work now I've never used this system before I always use the original firmware updater that comes uh, comes with from Radiolity and with Kydera but I thought just to be different let's give it a go I'm curious to know how it switches over last time I had a problem that it did update the firmware no problem at all but at the end of it, when I turned the radio on, I just had a white screen. So after, because the instruction manual said something like, turn off the radio, hold down the red button, turn it on, and it will work. But it didn't. So I played around. Eventually, when I held down the green and the red button while turning on, it did work. So what, why get yourself a GD88? Why do I think it's a superior radio to the Anytone 878, 868? It's because it's dual receive. You can have your hotspot running, you can be listening to a repeater, your local simplex, and, and you will be listening to two stations at the same time. And a lot of people say, well, you can't hear two things at one time. Most of the time, you're only, you've only got one channel that's active anyway. So you just listen to the one that's active and you've got separate volume controls on this device. So you can just turn one down anyway, very easily. So we're going to have to do this twice. I don't see so what it is when I'm doing firmware. I don't like to press pause on my when I'm recording videos because I don't want to interrupt any problems with the firmware. I'm guessing at the end of this, it's going to prompt me to do the B file unless it's going to do it automatically for me. Um, so hopefully that's gone in. Now the MM7 D DBT relies on donations. It does make it a lot easier to program this radio. Right, so that says o right complete. I'm gonna click OK. Right, ready to flash B. IAPB must now be displayed at the top of the screen. Hold button two button to do that. So this is where we're gonna press the button. We're gonna see if we can see at the moment I don't know how clear it is to you, but what it does at the moment, the top is saying IAPA. You press this, hold. It's it's changed to B now. Okay. Now we press OK, and it's going to do the B. And I think that's a lot easier than the the firmware. And I wonder if this one at the end will tell me that. Um, to press the red and the green button. <laughs> we'll see. But you you think, um, you know, the work that's gone in, this does work. I did have the RT73, but I've sold it now. I actually wish I didn't sell it, but I did. Um, the DB25 is is the same as the RT73. The Cardera CDR300, and then you've got, I'm trying to think which is which. I get confused with these. Anyway. You can see that I'm running the Kydera DR880 UV Plus. And in the UK, £190 on eBay. I'll link that in. Okay, that's done. Click OK. Update complete. You can now safely turn off the radio. We'll close that down. Let's just zoom in on the radio. So I'll just unplug it, turn it off, put all the cable out, turn it on. Oh, that's good news. So it seems. You've got talk for alias running there. Looking good. You move the PTT up and down, and you move the control up and down. If the control's up, we can turn the volume up and down. Let's see how low it'll go. Yeah, it's quite low. Yeah, I would say that's low. That's good enough to use. Go to the B band. See if we can get Hubnet on. Otherwise, I think we're done. Let's get Hubnet on. 
Go to the B. Lovely, uh, so you've got a separate uh, volume there. See the way it's using Talker Alias, but if it doesn't use Talker Alias, you'll get all the, you know, all the CSV files there, which we will load up. Thanks for watching my channel, 73, and that's Hubnet on the left there, you're seeing. Bye for now.